All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by adding 8 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite 8 as... 2 to the power of 3. So I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 0. And the reason I did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x minus 2, and b is equal to 2. So I get x minus 2 plus 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 2 times x minus 2 plus 2 squared, and this is equal to 0. Now we can simplify this. So negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out. So I get x times x minus 2 squared is the same thing as x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then negative 2 times x minus 2, I can distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And finally, I have this plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Now from here... We can simplify what's in the parentheses. So I get x times x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 2x plus 4 plus 4. So this simplifies to x squared. Negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x. And now I'm left with plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is plus 12. This is equal to 0. Now from here, this gives me two equations. I get x is equal to 0, and I get x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. So x equals 0, this is already a solution. And x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. To solve this, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 6, and c is 12. So if I plug these values in to my quadratic formula, I get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48, which is negative 12 over 2. Now from here, a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is the same thing as the imagined number i. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12i over 2. Now, the square root of 12, this is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 3, right? Which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2. This is equal to 2 root 3. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 2. Now if I divide my terms here by 2, I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus, these two cancel out, square root of 3 i. So my three solutions are x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 3 i, x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 3 i, and x is equal to 0. 
Alright, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I can switch the places of n and n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, and I'm going to switch the places of 3 and x. So I get 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now, I'm going to let the variable u equal 2 to the power of x. So now if I substitute in u for 2 to the power of x, I get u to the power of 3 plus u is equal to 30. And now I can subtract 30 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get u to the power of 3 plus u minus 30 is equal to 0. Now we have an equation here, and we need to find what value of u makes this equation equal to 0. So what I'm going to do to start is rewrite 30 as 27, negative 27 minus 3. And the reason I did this is because 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. Notice how we use something in the form u to the power of 3 plus u. We could think of u as 3 in this case. So 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3, and we have this minus 3. Now I'm going to put this in the form u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus u minus 3 is equal to 0. So now, if I put this in parentheses real quick, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this turns into u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 9 plus u minus 3, which is equal to 0. And now, because both of these terms have a common factor of u minus 3, if I factor out u minus 3, I get u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. And now from here, 9 plus 1 is 10, so I get u minus 3 times u squared plus 3u plus 10 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get u minus 3 is equal to 0, and I get u squared plus 3u plus 10 is equal to 0. So u minus 3 equals 0. That's pretty easy to solve. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides and I get u is equal to 3. Now remember how we let u equal to 2 to the power of x, meaning 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. And now to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides, so I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 2 is equal to log 3. And now if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 3 over log 2. Now, log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, and log 2 is equal to 0 0.301, meaning this is equal to 1.539. Meaning x is equal to 1.539. Now, going back over here, 
we have u squared plus 3u plus 10 equals 0. And let's use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get u is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this gets me negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 10, which is 40, all over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. Now, the square root of negative 31, that's a negative number, so that doesn't work, meaning my only solution is 1.539.